Hello, 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 my lovelies. All welcome, as always, and hope you are well. Um, <laughs> as always, cheers. Mm. Right, and this video, hopefully, if all the segments are put together properly, is um, the arrival of my first kiln. Um, it's a Nabatherm kiln. It's a uh, German make, they're one of the best, apparently. Um, so it has arrived today, um, less than half an hour ago. Um, so we've, uh, we've, we've got it offloaded onto the lorry on a, a truck thing, um, and they brought it into our garage. So I'm going to take you out there. Um, I haven't unwrapped it all properly yet, but I'm going to plug it in. And apparently we had, a, when I bought the kiln, um, the uh, email that I got with the confirmation at the bottom of that email was a little PDF file. And when you open that, it gives you information on um, what to do to begin with. And apparently I have to put it on the uh, program one, zero one, uh, with nothing in it. And it does its own sort of firing just to dry up the kiln and uh, make sure it's ready for use. Okay, so here we are in the go. I don't know why I'm. Why am I whispering? I feel like I just realised I'm like I'm on a wildlife program. So in the dark depths of the garage, we find the kiln lurking in the back. Right here we are, new kiln. Um, this is the control panel. I'm going to attach it to this thing here onto the side there. So I'll get some uh, a screwdriver. And I'll do that just now. Right, so I've got the got the controller fitted onto the side. I've opened up the kiln. Look, ooh, first look inside. Wow. And then these are the bits that you get with it. I've got an extra shelf. I'll just place these in because you're going. To, I'm going to do the first firing with all these inside. Right. Okay. Um, I can't believe I've had the kiln less than an hour and I am uh, i haven't even looked at the instructions properly and I'm uh, about to press buttons. But let's uh, <laughs> keep your fingers crossed and let's see what happens. So um, press the info button. Ooh. Then press and hold the menu button for two seconds. Oh, there we are. Language. German um, then we want to touch this dial I think to English do we touch in English there we are so I click that in and then turn this oh we can have all different languages English for now this is complicated enough without having to learn a language um, English language and then Set and then press to confirm. Press. There. Easy so far. Um, then press the back button. Right, now I need to turn a page and read something else. Okay, so while we're on this page, I pressed this button and held it down for a couple of seconds and that came back to this menu here. This is the menu page, apparently. Then I think... I think I click this button again. The pro program start first firing program one. Sorry, my hands are in the way. If anyone else has bought one of these, then uh, this is what you do. Um, first one again to stop it flicking. Sorry. Load program. Delay start. No, I don't want to do that. Press start. Did you hear that click? Oh my God. And I'm guessing it's going to stay like that. And I'm guessing hearing, I don't know when, but it's going to start clicking now and again as it starts heating. But we won't sit with the, <laughs> with the camera like this because I'm on my knees on a concrete floor. And for an old man, that's really painful. <laughs> so there we are, that's the... That's it, hopefully, doing its first firing. It is actually, the time there is flicking, the cursor, so it's obviously 
alive and doing something. So let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, so <clears throat> this is now the next morning, um, following morning. The kiln has done its um, first fire in uh, to settle it in and to get rid of any moisture in the bricks. Um, it's cooled down now. Um, so it's ready for me to uh, do a bisque fire in. I um, brought a couple of boxes. The rest of them are in the garage. I've put them there already. So I've kept some in here. Um, I let them dry first of all, and then I store them in here with a bit of tissue. Um, but I've got lots, lots of these boxes. Lots of Chinese takeaways. <laughs> Save the boxes. But anyway, so that's, I'll handle them carefully because at the moment they're just greenware, so they're, you know, you could break them. And I've done little, um, little shapes like that, and then to little shapes like that. Completely different, that one's got ridges on it. Can't wait to see how this, how these, um, how these look when I start glazing. Which also will be going down into the Wendy house when it's uh, finished. Um, and it's now doing its uh, first uh, bisque firing. Um, I shall, uh, actually there's not much to look at in here, so I'm gonna pop back indoors and tell you what I'm actually doing with it. What I have decided to do, because I'm that kind of guy, is uh, I've basically I'm, I've worked out my own um, programme. Okay, so if we have a look here, um, this is now five o'clock in the afternoon and it's still at 42 degrees. I'm going to open it because that's cool enough to to touch, I would imagine, 42 degrees. Let's open the door and see. Keep your fingers crossed, everybody, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh it's a lot more than 12. I didn't, you know, I was so excited. I didn't even realise what I put in. Um, these haven't been glazed, but I did use, I have been using different clays. Oh, wow. Right, I shall bring that shelf into the house and uh, I want to touch them. I want to feel them. Let's, let's go back indoors. Here we are, back indoors. Oh my God. I'm so, so pleased. Um, I have to say, before, before I say anything else, these little, um, these are terracotta um, we tried, um, and it was, uh, sorry, I'll put the camera down a bit low. Um, John, my partner, he wanted a little go, and he's never used a wheel before, but I mean, look at, look at that one. Uh, and he's made his own little terracotta pot, and little one here, it's just a short thing, but it's a pot, isn't it? And a little bowl, a little bowl there. He's just doing a uh, med uh, medieval um, house with really sort of, um, what's the word, not sophisticated furniture, um, oh, whatever. But listen, they're ceramic, they're not clay anymore. Um, but he wanted some terracotta, sort of simple looking pots um, to put on uh, cabinets and things in, uh, or tables in his medieval house. And I think they would be. Absolutely brilliant. Won't probably won't even paint them. I don't know, but they can go in his uh, his house. That's a black clay I put in. I've tried because I've tried different clays, um, so that's worked well. And then look at that one. I'm so pleased. I can't wait to glaze these. Look. And <laughs> so I have learned that. Um, when clay is only called clay, when it's soft and malleable, when it's porous, uh, when you can move it into shape and whatever, as soon as it goes through a bisque fire uh, to a certain heat um, and uh, condenses down and the molecules join together and it makes them hard instead of movable, um, it then becomes ceramic. So apparently these are not clay anymore, they're ceramics. So anyway, just what I've learned. And obviously I've learned that a, uh, a, a, a certain program that I've programmed in for my baby um, works. It's absolutely brilliant. Look at that tiny, tiny one. Tiny, tiny, tiny pot. And a little one there. Little pot. I don't know if you can see them properly. But anyway, these must look boring to you. you can't, uh, I bet you can't wait to see them uh, 
coloured and glazed. So I've been learning all about the glazing process. I'm working out a program. I'm not going to use the program in the kiln for, for glazing earthenware or stoneware or um, raccoonware or anything. I'm going to, I've been learning. So let's hope my knowledge spreads to putting my own program in for the, uh, for glazing them. Um, Right, okay, so that's, I've loaded up two shelves there. Um, I counted on that shelf, but I think in total I've probably got the, I don't know, 90 to 100 pots in total um, already. Um, so enough to keep me going for a while. Um, and these will all be appearing on uh, Etsy um, shortly, um, if I can call you shortly. Um, right, now, so uh, let's lift this lid down. And close this like so. I've got a little um, thing here to that I use to lock it. Um, right, okay, so the program here, um, I should be able to press that. Um, program start. Yes, bisque firing program. Delay start, no. Press start. Yay! So, that's my, my own bisque firing program. I'm going to do the same thing again. Hurrah! Right, so, we just have to sit now till then. Um, what's the time now? Half past five. I have to sit now till 11 o'clock tonight um, and at 11 o'clock I can go and close the vent on the uh, on the kiln so uh, does anyone know what's on TV tonight or, um, go for a walk I don't know oh, I can't bear it do you know I've only got this kiln yesterday or the day before and I feel like I can't can't do anything else even while it's on just a cup of tea um, I might as well go and put the kettle on and think what to make for tea for, for dinner tonight <sighs> see you later <sighs> okay actually so um, I've done some washing and brought it back out here to start drying so that has appeared um trying to pass the time <laughs> till 11 o'clock at night you want to sit with me till 11 o'clock tonight and chat i could um i thought i would take the time because as i'm doing these videos as each day goes by i'm getting two or three new subscribers each day so you're, you're coming through fast and furious which i have to say thank you so much it's so nice i'd like to take this opportunity so we've got uh, another five hours to go <laughs> um, to say hello to some more of you. Um, so first of all, I'd like to say hello to uh, someone that's called themselves Scrap Con Araceli Davila. So Scrappy, thought I'd call you. I hope you're watching this video. Um, hello Scrappy. Um, also uh, to Black Moon Raven, what a fabulous name you black for short um hello to you black uh some more here we've got uh jan lily parker so jan or jan lily welcome to you too thank you very much for joining our family which is how i look at it um we've also got ads or addy s um adi so addy uh, welcome to you too thank you very much um, we also have a newy or new for me. So newy, hello, welcome to you too. A um, couple more. We have a uh, uh, Lindell Parker Newlin. Lindell Parker Newlin. We have a double-barreled name join us. That's all I'm saying. We only have the best on here. So Lindell, thank you very much for joining. Hope you're watching. Hope you're listening. 
and two of them missed out. Oh, and uh, last but not least, at the moment is Mrs. Robinson's graduate, 0741. Um, so, Mrs. Robinson's graduate, I don't know your name, but uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to you. Um, okay, so this is the end of the main bisque firing. As you can see, the program has ended and it's cooled down to 63 degrees centigrade, which is well within the limit to open the kiln. So, let's open the kiln. <laughs> well, here's Nigel. Have you come in to see Nigel? <laughs> he runs straight under the car and then uh, he waits there until we get his treat bag out from the kitchen and then he trots out and has his little treats. He knows exactly what he's doing. So here we are. Let's just see. Well, it feels warm, but they're just slightly warm. So hurrah, <laughs> it's worked. Okay, so I'm going to get these shells, both of them out. We'll get the pots into the house <coughs> and then I'll just do the first, uh, I'll just do a few test um, glazed uh, pots and we'll do a, we'll do a, a glaze firing. firing. Um, we might in the meantime take the kiln out to the Wendy house in situ so I can do my first glaze firing uh, in, in the place that it's meant to be. So I think we'll, we'll do that next and go from there. Right, now, um, so this is now the next day again. Another lovely sunny day uh, from the kitchen out. Well, so um, I have to say <laughs> this is really, for me, really exciting journey. I can't remember how many days it is now, but on the day of getting the kiln, within the hour, as I said at the beginning of the video, it was on doing its first firing. It was barely cold enough before I put in my first bisque test pots. I did the bisque firing. <coughs> I barely, it was only just cold enough for me to redo, uh, put it on again to do a full bisque firing of all my pots. I've sort of done a rough count on pots that I've done at the moment. And there's about a hundred, I think, of these miniature pots. So a lot of work so far. So that's done a bit of firing and then again it had barely cooled down before I put in uh, my first glazed trial pots. Um, I didn't film uh, uh, putting those in or glazing them. It was late last night because of the time of letting the kiln cool. I mean the, the kiln hasn't had a chance to cool down since I've bought it. Um, I'm, not gone, I'm like a man possessed. It's ridiculous. Cheers. Oh, it's tea to calm me down. Um, so yes, last night, uh, uh, or before it got dark, we, we it was the kiln was cool enough for us to move it down into the Wendy house where it's going to stay now. Um, so it's going to be my um, it's going to be the dollhouse area or, or display area plus my pottery studio. <laughs> we'll do that. I hate when people do that, but. Uh, it's not, I'm not a professional, so I suppose I should be within those little things. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, so last night it was a bit too dark to film or anything out here because there's not proper lighting in this in this room, um, but it was getting dark. Um, so I did some glazing of some pots. Um, I'll show you, I've got some different ones here. Um, I've got my glasses with me, here we are. Um, so I've bought a, a set of the Amoco Velvet Under Glazers. I'll show you Amoco Velvet Under Glaze. Um, that's a teal blue, that one. I haven't used that one yet. Um, but I've bought a, a whole set of those um, to do some, just to do a couple of pots and try some under glazing, see what that looks like. Um, I've got a whole set of these sample pots of the Vitra Glaze the stoneware uh, glazing um, so I've tried I've tried I don't know a dozen maybe more different colors of those um, and also I've bought the 
uh, started buying the, the Mako Jungle Gems Crystal Glazers. That one's black opal. Hopefully this video is mirrored around the right way and the writing isn't all back to front. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I know how to art and craft, but technical videoing and everything. You're lucky if you can see me at all. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so I bought a, a set of the Jungle Gems and then <clears throat> before I even got the kiln, I just got crazy with these colours and I think I've, I may have bought all of them, I don't know, um, but I've just bought a load more. Um, loud motorbike going past in the distance. Um, so yeah, so I did some glazing, uh, as I said, just a few, just to test them out. So what we'll do right now, I'm not sure, I went out early this morning and the kiln was nowhere near cold enough to open it. Um, so I don't know what it's at now. So do you want to come down and see uh, see what it's doing anyway? And I'll show you the um, what's going to be the studio um, and, the, and where our dollhouses are going, which is, I'm doing another video of the summer house or the Wendy house as we call it. So you've either seen that already or it's a video still to come. I don't know when I'm, whenever I finish each video, I'll put it on. Anyway. Let's go down the garden. I'm sorry about my shaky, shaky camera movement. Um, beautiful day. Oh, there's Nigel. Oh, Nidge. Oh, there's the baby boy. There's my baby boy. Mm. There we are. Uh huh. Saying hello. Um, I'll just show you. Um, I did do a video of this garden because you can go right round and come out the other side and what have you. There's my food dog, um, handsome creature. And I did show the tulips the other day, early morning. Um, they're coming out even more now, beautiful. And hello, Nidge again, my boy. And uh, there's the irises coming out. Beautiful, and these are these are lovely in the light. The I don't know if, they can, if you can see them properly on camera. And um, the glass ball baubles that we made in our um, glass blowing class we went to once. Beautiful, right? So here we are down at the that's the secret garden through there. It goes round round there, um, but here we are at the Wendy House, which. Uh, will be a combination of two things. These paintings will be moved because I've built all this stage in uh, just, uh, just a few days ago. Uh, we're going to have uh, our dollhouses all round here, all along here. Um, this cabinet is going to be a storage cabinet that will go underneath there um, and it will have something on it, but that's mid being painted at the moment. So if we come in and come right on, that's all the bunting I made a long time ago, but it's looking all lovely still. Um, there's my Euro bear. <laughs> Actually, depending on how you want him, he stands like that if you want. <laughs> Let's stand him up the right way. I'm sure that gives him a headache. Oops, there we are. So, here we are. So the kiln is in the corner, and we're gonna have it, the window will be open when we're, um, when I'm glazing. Oh, this is the other side of the room. Oh, you can't see it properly with the light. There's a nice painting there I really like. And now I'm um, stitched uh, clock, cross stitch. Anytime is tea time, obviously. And then I've got the videos. I've got some little miniature artworks I did years ago. That's uh, sewing on a sewing machine fabric. And there's cut out pieces there, that's um, uh, paper mache and that's a piece of coral that I got down on the beach and that was, uh, someone did that of me, it was a self-portrait from many, many years ago. <laughs> well, a portrait of me, I mean. Anyway, here we are, what's the temperature? Um, ah, 164. Um, when it gets, I think, below 150. Um, I'll, I'll be able to open it then, probably. So uh, I'll bring us back down 
um, you'll see it for the first time. Um, I won't know, I've, as I said, I've made my own program up for this, for, for, for them firing, uh, the glaze firing. It may or may not have worked, so when we open the kiln, we may have cracked pots, or we may, we may have um, pots that haven't really coloured at all. Um, I don't know if I put the glaze on thick enough, or too thick, or whatever. So you'll see it with me, and you'll and, and we'll learn as we go along. So if there's if it's all mistakes, then I'll start from scratch again and work out another film, uh, another kiln fire in for glazing. And if it has worked, then I'll keep my notes and, and add to them. So um, I'm going back up to the house, uh, have a cup, finish my cup of tea, and uh, have some lunch, and then just see if this calms down a bit more, and then we'll come open it. Okay, folks, I have waited all day. It's now uh, early evening. Um, we've got down to 51 degrees. Oh, 52. Well, it's going up 51, 52. Then it goes down again. Uh, obviously, the heat fluctuates while it's still sealed. Um, but, oh, my, my squeaky sandals. Um, here we go. <laughs> We're going to open up. As I say, this could be a success, or it could be a learning curve. Oh, I can feel the warmth. Just push the lid back. And have a look. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if they're, I'm scared to touch them in case they're too hot. No, oh, just warm. Oh, look at that. Right, okay. There's excitement. Nothing cracked. And colours. <laughs> My first actual firing. Right, let me get this shelf out and let me get these indoors and I'll show you properly. Okay. Oh, I'm so pleased. So, <laughs> the... Um, the program that I've worked out through the little bit of knowledge I know um, has worked perfectly. Um, they've, they've glazed perfectly. There's no cracks. It's not run on anything too much, except one that I've put in that does run, and I'll show you that close up in a minute. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just if I what I was going to say was if anyone's watching this that does use kilns themselves um, and they, they, they're potting, uh, doing pottery, isn't the worst part waiting for it to cool down? Oh my god, that's, you just, you, I keep going back and it's gone down two degrees or one degree and you just want, you just want to open the lid and get everything out but I've been told you have to wait so I have waited like a good boy. So let me just show you them close up, if you can see these. Where's the camera? I don't know. But these are all different, different colours I've used on every single one. Just as sample colours, really. Um, spin it round like that. I think that one, I love that one. That one is a reject because when I made it, it had a little hole in the bottom. <laughs> but I fi fired it anyway, because I just want, I can use it in a house. Um, I may give it away as a freebie when uh, people buy my pots. In fact, some of these I might give away um, as a free one with, with pots that I sell. If I think they're a bit out of shape, I mean, that's not, that's not a good shape, um, it's, it's bumpy. Um, that one is just slightly, it's not flat at the sides. Things like that, they look pretty, but I'm, I might advertise those as uh, sort of giveaways. Buy one, get one free. That's a lovely colour, limoncello. And there's a denim there, that's lovely, I think. And also, if this black one, um, I did just as an experiment, I'll show you close up. I did a, a black underglaze um, without putting a transparent glaze on top so it just stayed matte and then I put three coats of a very thick um, 
glaze. It was actually a, um, a crystal gems glaze called Black Opal. So it's uh, it's very strong. And I, I poured it so it sort of, I don't know if you can see it, it sort of drips down. Lovely big drips there. So I thought that looked really good. So there we are. There we have it. First of many. Um, as I said, I think I've got around about 100 uh, at the moment. So that's what I'll be doing the next couple of days. I'm going to start glazing them and then I'll get them all in the kiln and I'll do it on my fire, uh, my uh, program that I've worked out, which works. I'm so pleased. So I now have a bisque fire program of my own and a, and a stoneware fire program of my own. Um, so I just press program one, program two, um, and it will do the job for me. While I was waiting for this to cool down, um, I, I'm, I'm not showing you, in fact, I'm looking at it right now, you can't see it, um, but I, I have made something out of clay, which I'm going to try and fire, um, bisque fire, and then glaze it in some way, and then fire it. And if, if, if it comes out, and if it works, um, then I will introduce you um, to him. <laughs> it's a him, um, but no, no clues. Um, but I've never used clay before, and I've never done sculpting before. Um, so this is a some kind of sculpture, and I I am so thrilled with it. I can't believe that I've done that. Um, but no, I'm not going to show you because it's just clay at the moment. So it needs to sit for I don't know a week or something to dry. I don't know how long. Um, and then I'll attempt to um, fire it and then uh, if, if it does or doesn't work out I'll show you anyway but I hope it does because uh, I'm so excited anyway cheers my lovelies um, a little bit of Lucas A instead of my cup of tea as always lovely 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 to speak to you um, hope you like what you've seen so far um, there are many, many more to come and other glazers. I've got loads of glazers, under glazers, over glazers, um, slipware, whatever. Um, so I'm going to be trying lots of different ones. And of course, they'll start uh, after this video very soon. They'll start appearing in my Etsy shop. So I'll always put a link down below for my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, guys, then have a look. And uh, maybe if you favourite the shop, or follow the shop I don't know what it is uh, maybe you get a message when I put things on I don't really know how that works um, but you will know you know more than me thank you for watching keep well and speak to you very soon take care bye all